go with this doctor of education for catechetical leader in the new evangelization and yours truly for critical thinking for catechetical leaders father albert alejo for reading the signs of the times catechesis on the special teachings of the church divina edralin uh, phd on management and the ministry of catechesis people management fundraising linkages net networking and attorney reginald laco for financial management for non profit organizations a pastoral immersion in two parishes namely saint peter and paul parish and saint john bosco parish would accompany the academic program to provide the clientele or we with an actual experience of catechetical activities for children, youth, and adults. Thus, on May 2, 2017, kits and name tags were distributed to you, the excited 42 representatives from the Archdiocese of Cebu. Wow. Wow. Archdiocese of Cebu and the Archdiocese of Linga and Tabukupan. And the dioceses of Digos, Masbate, Lawag, Bacolod, Balanga, Talibon, da Tagum, Novaliches, Pasi, Borongan, Ligaspi, Cabanatuan, San Jose, Nueva Ecija. Kung may kulang, pag-isabi ha? San Pablo, Laguna, Antipolo, San Fernando, Pampanga, Ipil, Sambuanga, Iba, Sambales. Kalmayo, Gumaka, and Bontok, Lagawe. Diocese na tayo or Vicariate pa? Ah, Apostolic Vicariate of Bontok, Lagawe. Sino ang pula? Ay, Lipa! Sorry. Reside ng Reside. Sino pa? Diocese of Archdiocese. An orientation to the whole program was gladly introduced by Dr. Lisander Rivera, the director, after which Brother Michael spoke of the life and spirituality of St. John Baptist de la Salle. Assigned Lasallian ambassadors toured you, the participants around the campus, listening and walking that morning earned for you a well-deserved lunch, which prepared you for the afternoon session on appreciative inquiry. After a brief explanation of what appreciative inquiry is, you were requested to discover and share in groups the positive points and workable, enjoyable aspects of your ministry. You were also asked to dream. What else would you like your ministry to be? What else can be improved? How can you use the assets, talents, resources that you have in your diocese to affect your dream? You were provided with a questionnaire to help you write down your answers to the questions. The first day ended with Vespers and the Eucharistic celebration officiated by Bishop Roberto Magliari, the Chairman of the Episcopal Commission on Catechesis and Catholic Education. Correct po ba yun, Monsignor? Catholic Education. His homily focused on the first reading of the day, the martyrdom of St. Stephen. He compared him to St. Calungsud of the Philippines and expressed his wish that more than equipping you with managerial skills, he hopes that the program will also deepen our faith. He asked us to renew our faith in Jesus, who is alive in us, and to accept the challenge of our president to be true to our Lord Jesus. Our president, I'm referring to uh, Mr. Duterte. We joined him in his ordination prayer of commitment and asked the Lord to enclaim us with love. A welcome dinner followed at the Henry C. Senior Hall roof deck where endless picture taking took place, conscious of the fact that we may never step on this sacred space again. <coughs> Every morning of our stay here in the LSU Taft commence with the morning prayers and the celebration of the Eucharist, which set the tone for each day's sacrifice of listening, questioning, reflecting, dialoguing, sharing, and eating a lot. <laughs> to remind us of the vision of the church, Monsignor Jerry Santos, using his scholarly knowledge and skill, guided us to the human and divine origins of the church, that is, from Jesus to the present, 
with emphasis on tradition and scriptures. His 83 PowerPoint slides, in 83 PowerPoint slides, he pointed out the events, documents, papal encyclicals, which made a dent in the church through the years. He showed the relationship and consequences of this with the present time, hinting that what we are now is the result of our decisions and that of our leaders yesterday. And what we will be tomorrow as a, as a church hinges on our decisions and courses of action today, the age of postmodernism and post-truth. Thus, his reminder and request to be patient and persevering in our ministry. Father Leander Barot, OAR, showed how scripture, particularly the Sermon on the Mount and other scripture passages, can be presented in catechesis and religious education in the light of the new evangelization. He used the kingdom of God metaphor, the beatitude in Matthew, and the child metaphor to explain how a metaphor can be understood against its situation in life or system laban and give examples to drive home his point. A rereading of the Sermon on the Mount made us more aware of the image which, imagery contained in the text. This means that when we teach texts from scripture, we do not take them literally because many are metaphors whose meanings have to be recovered and reinterpreted. In catechesis and religious education, he said, the catechist should read the text in its context, find out or research on the meaning of that text during the time it was written, explain it, and then see the meaning of the text in our present situation. A study uh, of what we teach from scripture is necessary to do justice to the text. Bishop Broderick Papillo, who is very passionate and committed to his work as a biblical scholar, gave us four sets of slides on the following. Call of the environment from scriptures, the New Testament theme on compassion, the New Testament theme on koinonia, and the connection between the New Testament and the Old Testament. He pointed out that the Old Testament or Jewish scripture has always been a part of the Christian Bible, and that therefore, the catechist or religious educator should pay attention to the threefold connection of continuity, discontinuity, and progression. He gave several examples from scripture to make the theme of koinonia and compassion more explicit, and related it with the signs of the times and or the events confronting us today. He made clear that creation is also the word of God, and therefore, disrespect for creation is also disrespect for God, the source of all that is. His generosity of sharing with us all of his slides go with the responsibility of reviewing his material, analyzing them together with other capitalists and religious educators, reflecting on them and including them in our programs and lesson plans following the guide given to us by Father Bert Alejo, who gave us 263 slides to wake us up on the signs of the times vis-a-vis -vis the social teachings of the church. His background in the various stages of his development as a person, he said, influenced his way of looking at things, analyzing them, reflecting on them, and came up with several advocacies born from the passion of being true as a Christian and as a Jesuit priest. His lecture is a concrete example of consistency, prayer and action, study and immersion, love for Jesus and love for the church, teaching and human experience, to make, us, uh, to make alive what others prefer to shun because of its implications. He showed us how the teachings of Jesus on human dignity and the values of the kingdom flows to the social teachings of the church which should be more enfleshed by every catechist or religious educator. He moved from his data to his analysis and reflections on to engagement or implementation which he is doing for the rest of his life and which he invites us all to do as well if we are to live meaningful lives. Given our potentials and gifts, we are to be credible leaders to the people entrusted to our care and to the church in general. This is why Dr. Eduardo Domingo came up with the qualities of a good leader 
in the here and now. He started with our own views of leadership, after which he presented what he called from various authors on their views of leadership. He presented the old, the age-old stories of the turtle and the rabbit and the story of the geese, the stories from uh, of our lower species of the animal kingdom, which give us precious insights on what we, the higher species, and the image and likeness of God should be as leaders. Finally, our last two speakers, Dr. Divina Ederlin and Attorney Reginald, alerted us to the practical aspects of our lives as bringers of the Word of God to people. We are not spirits but human beings with concrete needs and human rights. While we thrive on generosity and goodwill, such should not be abused as to demoralize us for man also lives with bread and butter. Specific needs are to be addressed in legal and moral ways to be more credible as the people of God. As the church described in Acts 2 and Acts 4, they lived with one heart, praying and worshiping together, and seeing that none in their midst is in one. Thank you. So, with so much to digest and to internalize and to interiorize, we will try to gather them all together and concretize them in the form of a strategic planning. Uh, what they have uh, signed, the uh, in terms of the dreams, are with me. This is the green sheet. But I would like to finish with the uh, with the uh, um, may appreciative inquiry, Masi, because we have two things that we discuss, and that is going to be uh, your the actualization will be yours, Bishop. I want to say. Okay, we will have our <laughs> prophetic voice. <laughs> now we will have our break and then we come back for uh, one of my sessions and then the session of Monsi. Thank you. Thank you.